Hello, I'm Hamish Johnston, editor of PhysicsWorld.com, and I'm here at DAISY in Hamburg, Germany, to find out how this particle accelerator lab is making the transition to becoming a leading center for photon science. Work on the first accelerator began here 50 years ago, and the last particles were collided in 2007 when the Hera ring shut down. Now, the main focus of the lab is developing state-of-the-art experimental facilities for chemistry, materials, and biological sciences. And it's the home to the flash free electron laser and the Petra synchrotron light source. I'm here with Helmut Dosch, who's director of DAISY and the first condensed matter physicist to hold that post. Professor Dosch, what is photon science and how did it become a major scientific activity here at DAISY? So photon science here at DAISY means that we are constructing facilities to uh, produce highly brilliant X-ray radiation in order to explore the structure and function of matter. So we do that in uh, essentially two different ways. The one is storage ring technology, where we produce uh, tailored X-ray radiation in the high energy range. So you mentioned already Petra, which is at the moment the world leading facilities for high energy X-ray uh, uh, research. Uh, so this allows us now to study nanomaterials under relevant conditions, so to really to make an impact on current topics of, urgent, uh, of urgency. Um, the other one is uh, free electron laser technology, where we produce even laser light in the X-ray regime, which uh, goes really beyond what one could have done uh, uh, up to today. DAISY is an important shareholder in the European X-ray free electron laser, which will stretch 3.4 kilometers from here to an experimental hall on the outskirts of Hamburg. What is an X-ray free electron laser and how will it benefit science? Technically speaking, uh, this free electron laser is a long superconducting accelerator for electrons. We accelerate these electrons up to 20 billion electron volts. So then we shoot these electrons into, electron, uh, into uh, magnetic structures which convert these electron bunches into this X-ray laser flashes, which are as short as femtoseconds. So that means what we have here is are three things. The one is we have X-rays, so that means we can see the structure of matter, we can see atoms, and we can see molecules. The other one is that we see, have this light in a coherent way, so we have a laser light. In other words, we can do essentially holographic images of matter on the molecular level. And secondly, we have these short flashes, and they are so short that they are faster than the motion in the nano world. So that means we can make snapshots of matter during action. So we can, in other words, follow a chemical reaction in real time. So in other words, we have a high-speed camera for the nano world, and this allows us now to really see in real time how matter works, how material functions, and how biological processes evolve. DAISY is playing a leading role in the development of accelerator technology for the International Linear Collider. How does the lab plan to uh, maintain its uh, expertise in this area in the future? That's correct. So uh, DAISY considers itself as a leading laboratory in accelerator development. And this is our core competence. So that means we have really to maintain and extend this role in the future. So to allow us now to conceive, to construct and operate future facilities. But it's important that we focus our, our efforts in constructing facilities on site. This is the survival strategy of DAISY. The, the Hera Collider shut down several years ago. Do you have any plans for the ring? Could it, for example, be, become an advanced synchrotron light source? In fact, it could. So we already did some very small calculations, so to speak, back of the envelope calculations, which I already tell you that this could be a fantastic source for uh, X-rays. Uh, whether or not this is a potential for the future depends on a very simple argument. We have to develop the scientific case for such a novel facility. Only if we have a convincing scientific case, this will then give us that the possibility really to develop a, a, a project which then can also uh, convince uh, the people who have to, to provide the necessary resources for that. What's the next big project for DAISY? Are you interested in hosting the International Linear Collider or will the next major facility here be related to photon science? 
that's a very important point you are touching. So the DAISY management is at the moment developing the long-term strategy of the lab. And uh, in this long-term strategy, uh, the next facility which we operate here on-site is of course a key question for us. So we already talked about HERA. This is a pot pot potential candidate in this uh, uh, in uh, deliberations we do. Whether or not uh, the International Linear Collider uh, is a uh, candidate for us, uh, here I have a big question mark. So this is such a big project which actually only can be handled on an international level and after the decision uh, that uh, we don't build uh, the Tesla uh, facility here on site, I think you now the situation has been on a political level uh, clarified uh, also on a global uh, scale. I think here in Europe the, the, the laboratory which is concerned with such a big uh, facility is CERN in Geneva. Well, thanks for speaking to us today, Professor Dash. Thank you.